everyone, welcome back to Melbourne Railway Videos. I'm here at Laylaw, or Lawla, I, I think it is Laylaw. That's how it's pronounced by the um, Metro announcements lady. So that's what I'm gonna go with. At the rear is 885M really taken off there. I think that's because there's quite a large gap between Layla and Epping stations. Alright, let's have about a look about the place. Um, <laughs> First impression is that it's a bit of a, a concrete wasteland or asphalt rather. Um, it's just you know this main road to the right making most of the noise, but extensive car parks on either side, which are a bit of a waste of space if you ask me. Ooh, highway patrol. There you go. Um, but yeah, it's quite a wide island platform. I'm not sure the reason why it's so wide. It's a bit of an odd shape actually. Because it, it's widest sort of 75% of the way <laughs> um, to the end of the platform rather than in the middle or, or at the end or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's certainly, certainly got a lot of asphalt. I believe this station's had a bit of an interesting history. Um, I am not 100% sure but I think that it was either once a passing loop or just a single track platform because the line between uh, Keon Park and Epping didn't used to be duplicated, it used to be single track. That was before they extended the line to South Marine, they did an upgrade. Anyway, I've got another train coming. Decent amount of people actually got off here. I think that people are taking the train um, away from the direction of the city because of Epping Plaza. That's my theory. But I guess South Marine's also got a decently sized shopping centre. You can see that beyond the level crossing, the track comes back in, slews back in. So it's actually visible from this side of the platform. What else can be said about the station? Well, I, I guess the, um, the other thing to mention about it is that it may well one day be a junction station um, because there is a possibility of a railway line being built from here to Woolert which is one of the outer suburbs if you're not familiar. Um, it might have stations at Epping Plaza, so it will get more direct access. Oh, I just had a train horn, maybe we'll have something flying through. Um, but yeah, it, it will have stations at Epping Plaza, Aurora, which I think is the housing estate, and then Wooler. Um, look, I don't know if the line's ever gonna be built. I think they've made some sort of reservation um, in terms of land, so there's space for it but I'm not sure how it would immediately branch off from this station. Um, it's just car noises, I think, car horns. But the other thing which is preventing that branch from being built is core capacity. 
So um, currently the Mernda and Hurstbridge lines are, have nearly exhausted the amount of space for them in the, when they merge at Clifton Hill. So if you added another branch into that mix, that would just mean that um, you'd be cutting off services going to South Morang and Mernda um, because there just isn't enough space for, for more trains. Um, so if they do ever build Metro 2, which they should, and if they build it to its full extent where it goes all the way through to Clifton Hill um, so the Mernda line can diverge, then that would provide an opportunity for the Woolworth line to be built. All right, out of service train, this is exciting. Here it comes, quite slowly because it would have just come out of the yard. I don't think it's as exciting for the passengers who have to wait longer because this train is running empty. Yeah. 254M. And 219M. You can see how aggressively it curves back in. This is a look around the building. It's pretty old, pretty basic, but a bit larger than you'd think. There's a bit of an indoor waiting area here. Not too well protected from the elements because there aren't any windows, it's just an opening. Looks like this station could be a host station or might have been a host station in the past. I'm not sure what the current staffing arrangement is, but it has a lot of space inside the building. And this is a look from the down track, looking upwards. <laughs> that makes no sense. You can see that the level crossing is just here. It's just a minor local road, so I doubt they'll remove it anytime soon. I mean, there's no real urgency to remove it unless they're going for a level crossing free line, but that's a long way down the track. Um, you can see a mixture of older and newer um, staunchons. So, I think that the ones on the right were originally there when it was just a signal truck, but they put in the new ones to the left, on both sides really, once they've done the duplication. Now if we turn around this way, and have a look at the, um, looking towards Epping and, and Mernda. This is the only way onto the platform. At least this ramp is nice and gradual, so it should be DDA compliant. And I might as well go on to this side. This is the up truck. If you have a look at that PID, you can see the next train's in three minutes and the one after is in 14. So, Mernda line is a beneficiary of higher frequency around this time and my theory is that's because um, there are trains coming out of the yard getting ready for the peak so they just thought let's run some of them as passenger services. I'd have to double check the timetable to see if these trains are originating at Epping or, or even here um, but that would be a likely explanation. Um, I think a lot of the eastern lines are reliant on trains from the Epping maintenance facility. I think it might be one of the only heavy maintenance facilities for extrapolis trains. So that is the reason behind there being so many out of service trains coming out of there. If you look out that way you can see some hills. I think one of those hills has Eagle Lookout which is actually quite a nice spot that I've been to before. Um, but yeah the line curves off to the right as it heads up to Mernda through South Morang and Hawke's Stowe and those sorts of places. Before the train comes I'll give the station its rating. Um, I think it's in pretty dire need of an upgrade. It's very tired. Um, all the asphalt looks pretty old. It's just not, not a particularly tasteful station. I mean it does the job. It's better than nothing obviously. Um, but it's just it looks really tired. Um, 
it's it hasn't got a lot going for it let's put it that way i'm gonna give it a three out of ten i've got that train coming The bells activate a fair way back. I think that's because there must be a lot of out of service trains passing through here. This is 66M by the looks. Yep. Alright, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.